Do not be fooled by the housing recovery. That's what our next guest says. Scott Yancey, he is the star of the A&E show, Flipping Vegas, and he joins us now. Scott, welcome to the program. It's good to see you, sir. Thanks for having me. Right. Don't be... Wait, wait a second. You're in the business of flipping houses. You buy them low, you flip them, you sell them high. And you're telling our viewers this is not the time to believe in a vigorous housing recovery. Make your case. Well, uh, first of all, I want to say that I do believe there's no better time probably in history to buy real estate than right now because we're at the bottom. But I've got to call BS on Washington, puffing their chests out, high-fiving each other, uh, using this big fancy word recovery um, with skewed real estate numbers. Uh, in, in my book, you judge recovery by unemployment numbers. And last time I checked, the nation was about 7.7% and Nevada, where I live, it's 9.7%. There's a lot of people hurting out there still and I don't yeah. think we're recovered. Well, okay, what about the housing recovery? When they refer to the housing recovery, they mean a gain of what? I think it's 10% in uh, existing home prices or 11% over the past year. You don't think that's for real? It's not going to go anywhere? Well, you know, I, I'm boots on the ground. I'm in the trenches every day. And, and what I see is, for example, in a state like Nevada, we have foreclosure laws and so on, like AB 284, the robo-signing laws, and, and other laws that skew these numbers. For example, in Las Vegas right now, we only have 3,301 single-family homes. And what what the numbers are showing is an 18 percent increase over last year in appreciation but what's really happening is a simple lesson of supply and demand because laws are restricting the amount of foreclosures coming onto our market uh, we have in investors coming from all over the place and we have multiple offers and, and bidding wars on properties so we have all this property still lingering in in nevada for example that i mean three out of four properties in nevada are, are upside down still, but they're just not releasing the inventory. So the limited inventory that is released turns into a multiple bidding war and the price sells for more. But it, those, aren't, those aren't accurate numbers for appreciation. That's very interesting, Scott. Um, now you only do business in Vegas and Nevada. That's where your activity is concentrated. So let me ask you this obvious question. You're in the business of flipping. I take it that it's not a particularly good time to be flipping. I mean, can you say that? Uh, you, you know, I actually work in, in multiple markets, but um, Vegas, uh, th th there's always a deal. And, and for example, I, I actually have a, a, a live event business where I, I teach thousands of students a month in how to compete with the investors and other people coming into uh, uh, areas where there's a lot of competition. Hmm. Um, but, but no, it's, Vegas is definitely, uh, it's slowed down for flipping, but one of my favorite strategies right now is buying and holding. Okay, yeah, I agree with you. I've been saying for a long time on this program that if you're a youngster, you're just starting out, you've got the down payment, you've got a job, you've got decent credit, buy a single family home and away you go. That's my position. Scott, I'm sorry I'm out of time, but come on back and join us, will you, because you've got interesting information and we appreciate it. Thank you, Scott. I'd, I'd love to, thanks. Yes, sir. Time for your gold report. Where are we this Friday morning? I'll tell you, we're at 1607. We're down six bucks, holding on to 1600 an ounce. Who knew? Who knew that someone like moi would know anything about March Madness? I must try to ambush me about March Madness and brackets, but I did my research. You're about to see a bit of the interview. Monica Crowley and Charles Payne are next. They react to my bracket picks. See how well I did after this. They're playing back.